Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukah Podash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, for having taught me this truth. Then peace and salutation to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine in these last days, and to those who are sincerely seeking the truth. Shalom. So I just want to remind you by this by the by, by, by this lesson, I just want to remind you the kind of God that we serve, the power of Yasharala, okay, whose name is Yahweh, okay, and his son Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly call Jesus. So we're going to read from the second book of um Kings, chapter six. Okay. I would I would I would like to start from verse 8. So this is actually what happened in the time of Elisha. Okay. So as we know, Elisha was a prophet of the Most High and he wrote a lot of miracles. So, you know, we're going into really hard times now, which is the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, um, the sons of Esau have pulled out the Mark scene and it's... Um, it you know it's going to be it's going to be obligatory very soon so what they do is um they use a certain process called um gradualism a step at a time but it's all it's going to get to a time in which you can't do anything if you don't get this vaccine okay like here in italy um from the 27th of this month which is next week we we're, we're going to start they're going to start giving out the vaccine you know so and in different workplaces we already get letters um that we um it's going to we have to take the vaccine okay if we want to continue working so you know this is a time of a time of you know great distress for the house of Israel you know because this whole plot actually is the targets are the so-called negroes who are of the tribe of Judah um the native americans and um the latinos okay so all this plot is actually you know directed to the sons of israel so you know most of y'all might be you know getting a little scared about what's about to go on because truly it's really going to be a really difficult time like never before but you see the most High is going to see us true just like the book of jeremiah i think um 33 or 30 you know tells us you know it's like it's a time of jacob's jacob's trouble but you shall be saved Okay, so um, we we need to remember, you know, the kind of power that we have behind us, you know. We need to remember the God of Israel, you know. So let's start by this story. The king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware. And the man of God, who is Elisha, okay, sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware, that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of, and saved himself there, not once nor twice, okay? Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was so troubled for this thing, and he called his servants, and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet that is in the that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. Okay, so this is this story I was actually, you know, at the plantation today and you know, just listening to this to this um story and it really just caught my heart and you know gave me a whole charge of charge of um of strength and courage you know not to be afraid of what's about to come because the most I Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai he knows the heart of everybody because he created everyone you know he put us here be you wicked or good he put you here so he knows the heart of everyone he can manipulate anyone anytime he likes and he can reveal his secrets to his people. He can protect his people from any harm that is about to come. Okay. 
So this is what happened. The king of Syria, you know, he's been warring against Israel for a long time, you know. So he took a counsel with his um with his servants, you know. So they had a plan, you know. They came up with a masterpiece. We're going to do this. This is the plan here and there, you know. They said they were going to attack in a certain point and this, and you know, the Most High revealed all these things to Elisha. And when they when when they were speaking of these things, you know, they were in private, in secret, you know. So. The Most High actually told, um, revealed all these things to Elisha. Then Elisha called the king of Israel and he told the king of Israel, okay? And he told him that this is the plan of the Syrians. Don't go in such place, you know. This is, what they're, this is where they're going to come. This is what is going to happen. So they took advantage of, you know, knowing the plans of the Syrians. And each time the Syrians, they turned up, you know, they, they 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 actually got defeated and you know nothing you know so the 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 king of um syria you know he got worried and he was thinking maybe there is someone in his camp who is you know revealing these secrets to the israelites you know then one of his servants told him no that they have this certain prophet which tells you it, it, it. <laughs> okay let's just go to what he said um um Sorry, I'm just I just got lost a little bit because this is a beautiful story, really. Um okay. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel, tell it the king of Israel the words or that that thou speakest in thy bed chamber. You know, so he's letting the king know that there is a prophet there amongst them. You know, he tells the king what you, what you, whatever you say in your bedchamber, you know, whatever you think, you know, he knows these things and he tells, he tells, um, the king, you know, so just to, to, to grab a few precepts on this, I'm going to read from the book of Daniel because more or less the same thing. Daniel chapter 2, verse 47. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth, it is that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldest reveal, could, couldest reveal the secrets. You know? So, the power that we have behind us, you know, being the house of Yasharala, is the greatest power. We don't have to be afraid of what's about to come, you know. We just don't need to fall for the trap, you know. Like we are not ignorant of of the of the of Satan's devices, you know. We don't we don't need to fall for this trap that Esau is putting out there, you know, with the Maxine coming out with checks. I'm going to pay you such amount if you take the Maxine and such. I also saw a video today in which um a, a dude actually uh, a Jake, he took the Maxine and he had his legs swollen and some kind of stuffs were coming out of the leg. You know, it looked really bad, and he was informing people about the dangers of this Maxine. So let's go back to our story, because this is a really beautiful story. Okay, and he said, I'll start reading from verse 13. And he said, go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. It was told him, saying, behold, he is in Dothan. So this is the king of Syria, um, of Syria you know, after they told him that there is, there is actually a prophet that knows, you know, your plans and it reveals your plans to the king of um to the, to the king of Israel. So he, he told his servants to go and spy on him and fetch for him, you know, and they told him that he was actually in the city of Dotan. Okay. So this is what happened actually. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servants of the man of Yahweh was risen early and gone forth, behold and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? So this is what happened, you know. The king of Syria sent a host, you know, a huge heavy host with chariots, you know. So they went and they surrounded the city where this prophet was found, prophet Elijah. You know, so when they woke up in the morning, 
it, one of his servants saw the host and you know he, he cried out to the to the to the prophet Elijah it was like um you know we are surrounded you know we are compassed you know and this is what happened and when the servant of the man of Yahweh was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he said, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. This is the response of the prophets. He said, He told the servant not to be afraid, that those who are with him, with them, are more than the host that came to encompass them. And this is the same message that should go to the house of Israel today. This is the same, this is the same power that we have. It's the power of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We have the chariots that most of the time, you know, we can't see them because, you know, these chariots, you know, they take forms of the cloud, you know, they can metamorph themselves and, you know, but we have the angels of the most high surrounding us. And those that are with us are more than the troops of Esau. They are more than, they are more than the, the, the police and all, all the military of Esau. So you don't have to be afraid, you know. This is the time not to take any mess, really, you know. Just don't be afraid of what's going to happen, you know. Put your trust on the Most High, Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. Keep the commandments to the best of your abilities, you know, and hope on him. Let your hope be singly on him. If they come at your job place and they tell you, take the vaccine, without this vaccine, you can't walk. Then leave the job. It's time to leave the job. You know, this is part of the faith that we have, you know. And just to remind you, the prophet before this prophet we're talking about was the prophet Elijah. You know, he was in the desert, you know, and he had ravens bringing food to him, you know. When I think he was in a cave, you know, he had ravens bringing food to him that he was going to eat, you know. So the Most High can do anything. This is the time we really need to have our hearts set on the Most High that he can do anything for us, you know. So let's go on and see. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And those are the chariots, you know, the so-called UFO, you know. So Elisha prayed to the Most High, and the Most High opened the eyes of the servants. And the servants could see that, whoa, we have all these UFOs, you know, ready just surrounding them. You know, they were way more than the host that encamp. That, and that, 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 that surrounded them all, all, all the night, you know? So let's go on. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord Yahweh and said, Smite these people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. You know, this is the same power we are actually expecting from the Most High Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know? And there is a there is a there is a verse you know a book I can't remember which that says now that says um and when they shall come after the sons of Israel you know I'm just paraphrasing you know um I was set I was set up a standard against them you know this is the same power that is working with Elisha we we have the opportunity of tapping into the same power which is the power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai okay. Let us remember that he who is with us is stronger than all we can think. Is stronger than this world. This world is nothing. It's, it, this world is his footstool, you know. It is his, his footstool, you know. There is nothing that Esau can do to you without the consent of the Most High Yahweh. Not forgetting that some people are actually going to be persecuted for this, you know. Whatever comes your way, just take it and believe in the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. So because many people are getting scared, what's going to happen, this one. Man, stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. You just have to set your heart on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he's going to, he knows what's best, best for you. He knows what's going to come up. Okay, so let's keep reading. So Elisha prayed and you know the most high smote all the 
all these troops. He smote them with blindness. They became blind, you know? And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this city. Follow me, I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. So Elisha told them that this is not the city that you're looking for, you know? Let me take you to the to the seat to the man that you're looking for, you know? And they just, you know, followed him. They went with him. So this is this is just to tell you that, you know, the most high Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is so powerful that he controls the minds and hearts of men. He can do anything, you know. If you believe in him, it's going to grant you power to do things, you know, that you don't you don't even imagine you can do, you know, but you just have to believe and understand. This truth, understand the power that, that's working within you. you. Understand the power in the name of Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Understand. This is the power that did many great things in the past that divided the waters, the Red Sea. Have you forgotten? This is the, this is, this is the power that destroyed the whole host of Egypt. You know? This is the power that brought down the walls of Jericho without, without throwing a stone, just with shouts, you know? This is the power that rose people up from the dead, you know. Elisha also performed, you know, a miracle, you know, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And he rose a dead boy, you know. Yahweh Shai did the same thing, you know. So let's keep reading. And it came to pass when, okay. So, yeah, um, Elisha actually led them to Samaria, okay? And it came to pass, when they were coming to Samaria, that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men, that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes, and they saw. And behold, they were in the midst of Samaria, you know? So, what happened was like, uh, was like a spiritual kind of blindness, you know? At that point, they just didn't know what they were doing. They were just following Elisha. And Elisha took them to a different city. You know, and when they got to the city, he prayed the most I opened their eyes, the most I opened their eyes and they found themselves in the middle of Samaria. OK, and the king of Israel said unto Elisha, when he saw them, my father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he answered, thou shalt not smite them. Wouldest thou smite those whom thou hast taken captive with the sword and with the bows? Set bread and water before them that they may eat and drink and go to their master. Oh, this is this is beautiful at the same time, crazy, you know. So when the king of Israel saw what was going on, he saw that wow, this prophet actually brought you know all these enemies that, that were trying to you know destroy the city that they sieged, they besieged the city, he brought them to Samaria, and he had them in his hands, he could kill them at that moment and smite them all. So he called on the prophet and he was like, should I smite them? And the prophet told him not to. Rather, he told him to set them bread and water to give them food, you know. So this is beautiful, you know. And he prepared great provision for them. And when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away and they went to their master. So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. So do you see what's going on? The band of Savior came no more after this incident, you know. So it was something, went, they went there, you know, they went there to destroy with the intention of destroying, of besieging the city and capturing, you know, um, Elisha. But they got there, you know, the Most High gave his, uh, his prophet the power to, to, to get them blind. Then he led them to another city. He fed them with food and he sent them back. So probably when they got back to the king, they actually told the king what happened and the king remained, you know, dumbfounded. And they decided never to go and, you know, fight them again. So this is the same power that we have, okay? Brothers, you have brothers, um, Akiams and Aquats, you know, the few Aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. You have to believe that the Most High Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai would not abandon you, you know? You have to be strong this time around. This is the test of our faith, you know, even if it's going to cost you your life, you know, whatever, whatever comes, let it come, you know, but just don't fall for this trick of Esau. Don't take the killer Maxine, 
okay? Because once you take the killer maxine, it's going to sedate your gut gene, which is the VM82, okay? Then it's going to prepare you to take the mark of the beast, which is the, uh, which is the microchip, okay? Esau got everything laid out. He got all his plans laid out, okay? It's just a matter of time. And you see, this. I don't think this kingdom is going to go over this coming year that we're about to go into. I don't really... If it goes over this year, man, it means... I don't, I don't even want to see us going more than 2021 because things are going, really going to start happening very fast, you know? So this is the same power. Okay, now let me just, you know, remind you again. Let's go to the book of, well, I would advise you to, you know, to keep reading. You know, this story is really beautiful because after this, we have, um, I think it's the next chapter, you know. Okay, this is, let me just, let me just show you the power that we have, you know. So this is what happened actually here in chapter 7, 2 Kings chapter 7. If you read, let me just, okay, what happened was, you know, it, it happened another time that the kings of Syria, you know, they besieged Samaria, okay? They came and they besieged Samaria, okay? So what happened was um, um, there was famine. They besieged the city for a long time because, you know, the sons of Israel started going back to doing all bullshit that they've always always done, you know? following other gods, you know, and, you know, making the Most High Yahweh hungry at them, you know. So the Most High Yahweh, it leaves them, okay. So I think you should go read, but I just want to just summarize the, the story to you, you know. So what happened was, you know, they got besieged and the, the famine was very, very sore in the land, you know, that people started, you know, eating their children, you know. So this is really crazy. So the prophet Elisha, you know, he prophesied to the king and he told the king that at this time, tomorrow, you know, there was something happened, you know. It's a long story. That's why I would advise you to go read it. I just don't want to keep this um this lesson too long, you know. So he told them at this time, tomorrow, you're going to sell, you know, these grains and all this for just little money, you know. Because they were besieged. They had no food, no no money, no water, nothing, you know. So what happened was, you know, <laughs> Elisha prayed to the Most High, and the Most High to this um to these troops that were the that surrounded um Samaria, they started hearing sounds of a huge and mighty troop coming, you know, just like what happened to what happened. Well, let's don't let me take it out. You know, they started hearing you know the sound of a huge troop coming, you know. And let me just read it from here, from verse 6, which says, For the Lord, Yahweh, had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites, the king of the Egyptians, to come upon us, you know. <laughs> they got scared, and it was nothing. It was just the most high, you know, doing his thing, you know, saving his sons and daughters, you know, his stiff-necked sons and daughters that they would get saved, and the next thing they do is to offer sacrifices to all these dumb idols, you know. So, wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents, their horses, and their horses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives, you know. So some of them, uh, there are these leapers, you know, that went outside and, you know, they wanted to surrender themselves to this host. So when they got outside, they found the tents of the host empty, you know, but they had the whole food, money, silver, gold. They got so scared that they left everything, threw away the arrangements, you know. This is the same power we have the opportunity to tap into. And it's called Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Okay. So don't forget this great power, Yahweh, the creator of all things. Why Yahweh Shai, he has always done great miracles for his people. Where it seemed that there was no way, he made always ways, you know. So this is not time to get scared, you know. So let's go. 
let's go quickly to the book of um Daniel chapter 6 just to remind you you know Daniel chapter 6 you know so if you read this Daniel chapter 6 you can see what happened you know lion um Daniel got thrown into the den of lions you know it got thrown into the land of lions and the most I shut the mouth of the lions. They didn't come close to him to do him any harm. Rather, he was playing with his lions. And when the king came to, to call upon his name in the morning, you know, when he heard he was still alive, he was happy because the king didn't want him to die. He knew that there was a conspiracy against him, you know. And all the people that made this conspiracy against them, they were thrown into the lion's den and the lion had a great mastery of them, you know. So this is the same power we have, the same power that could save a man from the den of hungry lions, okay. Now, if you go to the book of um, Daniel, always chapter 3, you have the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego who were thrown into the fire, you know, it was Daniel, including two others, you know, they were thrown into the fire. The fire was so hot that, you know, the guards, those who set the fire ablaze, when they came near it, the heat killed them, you know, they died off, just they, they died off or just in a go like that, you know. And the king Nebuchadnezzar could see that there was someone else in the fire with them. And he said his, his, his appearance looked like the son of man, which is Yahawashai, you know. But probably he was an angel Yahawashai sent to them, you know. They came out, they didn't have the odor of smell on them. They didn't have any bones, any scratch, you know. This is the same power we have. So dear brothers and, you know, to the few sisters who are actually looking for this truth, encourage your spirit, you know. Because the Most High Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai hasn't given us the spirit of fear, you know. He hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Because once you start getting scared, you know, that's where um, the demons, they, they tap in, you know. They come in and, you know, they start, they start giving you some weird thoughts, you know, of maybe giving up, considering yourself to, 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 to Esau, you know, and all these things like that. So... Dear brothers, um, Akiams, and the few Aquats, you know, st strengthen your spirit. You know, this is the power. There are lots of stories I can keep going from now till tomorrow, giving you different stories of the miracles that Yahweh Boy, Yahweh Shai did for the house of Israel. You know, it's still the same power, and now he's going to do a greater miracle. He's going to do a greater miracle, you know. So please. I am pleading, don't give up because the kingdom that is about to come, you know, is what's more than anything you can ever dream of, you know. Many of y'all are thinking, you know, backsliding because of what the world say. Oh, so hell with the world. Who cares about this kingdom? You know, I really, as I am in this moment, you know, I have my heart, you know, prepared to the point that I really don't care. You know, once they bring the letter at my workplace, man. I'm just getting out, you know. I don't give a damn, you know. I don't give a damn whatever happens, you know. If I'm going to become whatever, find myself in the wilderness, well, I don't give a damn, you know. I don't care about this kingdom, you know. I'm going to leave all my properties and everything. I don't care about anything. They can just all go to hell, you know. Because the kingdom that is about to come, is, is that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now we're just living in a mere illusion, okay. And I pray the most that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai strengthens your spirit, you know. He gives you the courage and he reminds you always of his deeds in the past time. That's why we have to dig into the scriptures and read these things so we can remember the power that we serve, you know. Because once you know this power that you serve, you cannot, you cannot fall for the traps or the devices of Satan, you know. So this is what it is. I hope you all was edified by this lesson. And hopefully in the next lesson I'll do again, I'll try to do it in English language. And um, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. Then I'd like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone 
for having taught me this truth, for ruling well, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. On to the next one, Shalom.